You can include expressions in a JSP page, and as long as they are valid expressions for the expression language, which is part of JSP, they will be evaluated and then converted into a string and included as part of the text. This Java server page demonstrates the most basic form of the expressions in the JSP expression language. The expression language is also known as the EL. An expression can be made up of numbers and operators enclosed in squiggly braces and preceded by a dollar sign like this. The Java server translator will remove the braces, add the numbers together, convert the number 4 into a string and display it as part of the text. You can use parentheses in the expressions as well as add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Whatever number comes out as the result of the evaluation of the expression, it will become part of the text. And you're not limited to just integers. You can use floating point numbers. Here you see one floating point number divided by another. You can even mix the two types. The conversion is done automatically to real, and the result will be the string that is the result of the expression. You can use positive or negative numbers. You can use a quoted string as the expression, and it will result in the characters that are inside the quotes. I know that's not very exciting, but it comes in handy when you're getting strings as a result of calls to a bean method, and we'll be seeing that later. You can use the Boolean operators. The result is either true or false. There are two forms of the Boolean operators. There is the two-letter version, like the one you see here, where GT stands for greater than. You can use EQ for equals, LE for less than or equals, GE for greater than or equals, NE for not equals, LT for less than, and EQ for equals. Or if you prefer, you can use the same character Boolean operators that are defined for Java. You can use the logical operators here too. The double ampersand for anding two Boolean values together, and the double bar for oring two Boolean values, and the exclamation point in front of a Boolean value will reverse its value. And there is always the modulo operator. You can use the three-letter word MOD as shown here, or you can use the percent sign, like Java. I'm sure you can imagine what this page looks like. Here is the final page produced from the JSP code. All of the expressions have been evaluated, and their literal values have been included as part of the text. Here is the actual HTML. You can see this. It's the result page that was sent to the browser. In every case, the translation threw away the dollar sign and the squiggly braces, evaluated the contents of the expression, and converted the result into a string to be displayed.